Hey, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Chris from Montreal. Hey, Chris, how you doing? What would you like to talk about today? Uh, I was wondering if you wanted to talk about cancel culture. Sure, why not? <laughs> really? I'm open to I'm always open to talk about anything. I don't know how long I can it's because we're we're approaching eleven o'clock. I don't know how long I can handle it without uh you know exhausting myself, I guess you can say, but let's let's do it. All right, just uh, quickly. Uh, well, uh, first of all, your uh, all the anti-vaxxer uh, interview was really good. Like, I'm afraid of anti-vaxxers, but cancel culture. Like, I was six years old when I realized that Pepe Le Pew was a rapist. Like, that's not that's not hard to figure out. I think. Right, but so also Pepe, Pepe Pepe Le Pew is not an example of cancel culture because. Warner no, I know, Brothers, I know, but Warner Brothers but, themselves decided to uh, to cut it, him it, out. It's, it's the same thing with the, the the Dr. Seuss books. It's just like the company decided that maybe we shouldn't show Chinese people like that as caricatures, like right. And you, and it's not even just a company in that case. It's literally his no, estate. No, it's the estate. Yeah, so it's so. like. His his family. That's it. It's fine. <laughs> so, uh, the other one, I had another example. Is it Potato uh, Head? Bill Maher kind of bothers me now. I still hate listening to him, but like you and the MR crew kind of kind of massage the way that I see him and. Now he's in really into cancel culture and it's like weird. Like he keeps going on and on about it. Yeah. These there's, there's certain people who are obsessed with it and it's such a pointless. I, I, I think it, I really, I really don't understand how that's your thing. Like, I don't understand why you would care so much about these things that this is what your entire. And again, it's not even cancel culture. It's, these are literally all scenarios where, a company or the person themselves or their family said, oh, we don't want this out there anymore. We are deciding to, to cut it off. That's it. I mean, I mean do, 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 do these cancel culture warriors want to have a conversation about copyright laws? Because I'd love to do that. They should. They really, really should. Why Why is a, like Mickey Mouse not in the public domain? Why is Dr. You, Seuss... Not in the public domain. Yeah, I want to sell some Mickey Mouse shirts and not have to give not, first, not have to get any. Uh, uh, That's it. Any any permission from Disney, and also I want to be able to not give them any money, even if I did get permission from them. I want Mickey Mouse should be public domain. Hell, there's... should have been in the public domain like seventy five years ago or something. Yeah, well, and and you know what? You want these Dr. Seuss books? Doc, Dr. Seuss is dead. Why does someone else get to say what happens to his books? His books should now be free to all. Whoever That's wants them should be able to print them up now because he's not around to profit off of his creation. That's right. Also, I mean, on the right-wing media, they never show the books that are canceled. Hmm. They never, ever show, oh, this is why this book or why the quote-unquote libs want to cancel this book they never show like the images so it's really right. funny i mean yeah the green eggs and ham uh cat in the hat those are the ones they'll, yeah. they'll they'll always show on tv or they'll do a stunt where they read one of those books like kevin mccarthy did i believe he he had a video where he was reading green eggs and ham or some shit uh those books are not the canceled books no, it's because you know, they, they don't even know. I, I guarantee you, they don't even know what books are the books that aren't in print anymore. I bet they've never even read them. I bet they've never seen them. Those aren't the books that are sitting in your children's library in your, the, like the little bookcase next to their bed at their home at your home. Like these are books that uh, are not the classics. No, that's it. Like I, I'd never even heard of them. Like even vaguely. Like it's. I've heard of Cat in the Hat, never read Cat in the Hat, but I know about it. I know Jim Carrey made a movie, but... No, that wasn't actually... The that other was ones a, are... Jim Carrey was Grinch. You're thinking of Mike Myers with Cat in the Hat. M Mike Myers was Cat in the Hat? Fuck. Yep. Sorry. And you know what? <laughs> this is this is really funny. Ready? So, 
So the Grinch movie was great. The the Doctor Seuss's wife who who had full uh, authority over this stuff loved it. Was great. Signed off on the Mike Myers Cat in the Hat movie. She hated that movie so much. Hated Mike Myers' portrayal of Cat in the Hat so much that she said, and it's true, there hasn't been one since, that there would never, ever be another live-action Dr. Seuss movie again. And there right. hasn't. And there hasn't. Where are all the cancer culture warriors out there? Why aren't you That's... demanding, demanding that Dr. Seuss's wife let more live-action Dr. Seuss movies be made? That's right. That's insane. Also, uh, somebody, I want uh, I want my live action uh, one fish, two fish, uh, blue fish, red fish, whatever the hell it's called movie, and I'll I never get it. I had to, I had to, I had to, I had to settle for a CGI Lorax movie. Where was my live action Lorax movie with physical Danny DeVito as the Lorax? I wanted that's... Danny DeVito dressed up as the Lorax, and I didn't get it. That's true. That's why is no nobody on Fox saying that? Also, uh, I I have to say like I had a I remembered because I watched a podcast. Tom and Jerry was very very problematic. I don't remember there Tom was and Jerry. A lot being of was it just like violent? Like super violent. No, That's no, it. the no, the violence was always okay. Like cartoon violence, I think, was always okay. And actually, I was upset as a child because they cut some of that stuff from the Looney Tunes. But Tom and Jerry, sometimes when there was an explosion, there was a lot of racist imagery in that. That still kind of bothers me. Like we we could cut that too. Look it up. It's. Like, piccanini is the word, I think, uh, is the word to describe the explosions when I... Anyway, right. I'm glad to uh, have talked to you, Emmett. Oh, nice thank to see you. see you on MR again. Thank you for calling in. When, when you said cancel culture, excuse me, when you said cancel culture, when you called in, I was like, oh, we're going to get into a debate? No, no, but no. no. Uh, just like trying to put a... Trying to see it in the right way or not, like there's no cancel culture. Like, it's, right. like Sam says it all the time. It's just like consequences for what you say. Right. I mean, right? I mean, the re the real cancel culture is when they these guys these right wingers who cry about cancel culture try to get like a college professor fired for teaching the uh, the the students in his class about the realities of like slavery in this country or some shit. That's yep. the real life cancel culture. That's right. When uh when Alan Dershowitz oh. tried tried to get uh what's his face? Oh, I'm having a mental block. Tried to get uh the uh, the Jewish uh intellectual who uh who always stood up for the Palestinian people. He recently had like a weird problematic take, but uh 9 times out of 10 he's he's spot on. Uh when Alan Dershowitz tried to get him fired. I can't, I'm having a mental block. Can't remember his name. Uh, I can't remember either, but I, I know what you're talking about. And nine times out Finkelstein, of ten, thank you to L in the YouTube chat. Finkelstein, exactly. Great, uh, yeah, gr no more, great Norman Finkelstein. Yeah. Right, great thinker. Uh, not, I'm not going to agree with every take from everybody, but all around, I think he is spot on. And uh, Alan Dershowitz wanted him fired for daring to criticize uh, Israel. And Mr. Mr. Dershowitz. Is I think he just put out a book to crying cancel culture. Give me a break. Give me a break. Oh yeah, Mister. I went on the, the island of the pedophile Dershowitz, probably. Right. Right. Yeah. See. Yeah. So. Yeah. Nobody should listen to Alan Dershowitz for sure. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna let you go because I want to see that Michael Tracy. Uh, oh right. Clip. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Take care. Thanks for the call. Thanks a lot, Matt.